Oh, y'all niggas taking this shit serious. Don't get cool, You ain't coming now. I know, Los, but it. Tell me when you're ready. We rolling. Hey, man, y'all make sure y'all tune in and check out my first comedy special. Uh, produced by me, wrote by me, directed by me, shot by me. Uh, I was just you know bullshit. What you did. Yeah, I was, uh, look, I was bullshit. All right, but look, all jokes aside, man, tell jokes or drop fries. You can check this shit coming out October 9th. You can stream it. All this coming on, man. The pre-orders are already going crazy. Man, the pre-orders, on, right now I'm at uh, 12 copies total. And y'all keep fucking with me and supporting me with the 85 South Show, man. All love. What y'all think? Huh? You know why some, I don't listen to some rappers? Who else? Because they living too good. And it ain't like I'm on no hating shit. It's just like, man, I don't want to hear this shit. <laughs> nah, like, I'm not about to sit here and listen to you bitch about shit like nice shit. <laughs> I like fucking with Rick Ross, though. Oh, yeah. Because Rick Ross rap and make you feel like, like he is his shit, but it's like y'all shit. Like, like, I feel like he rapping as a cousin. He's like, you welcome to this shit, but it's mine. But like, you can enjoy it like it's yours, but just know if you fucking with Maybach music, like this your shit too. Do you get that from, from Rick Ross? Like he can make some normal shit sound extravagant. Yeah, I feel like he the type of nigga who will like, like if you was around him enough, he'll really make sure you had some of this shit at the crib too. Round down 85 with my beat low. I'm like, God damn, that nigga smooth, man. Why though? <laughs> he must have been thinking about something. <laughs> like it was trap music and then Rick Ross was like a level above trap music. Like it was elegant trap. Hey, Chad, get your ass out the shot looking bored, man. You can't just be in that bit oh, looking bored. Nigga, we always record. <laughs> Goofy, he over there looking bored. We talking about good shit, man. That nigga Chad a star now, man. Man, I'm tired of this Hollywood ass shit. I'm about to find me some new niggas that's hungry again, man. <laughs> Chad ain't hungry no man, more. That nigga sitting over there, over there playing chess on the phone, man. Chad ain't hungry no more. Goddamn Joe Don't think, my name. motherfucking <laughs> Joe swear he's sophisticated, man. I think this nigga that sneak went back to college on the low. That nigga cat still hungry. Man, cat still down. Everybody else got them changed. I, I don't even know what Joe's staying no more. I thought Chad moved to LA. Every time I hit that nigga up here in Cali. Man, I had to look at my thread with Joe how many times he ain't text me back. I was like, nigga, you, I, I ain't one of your bitches, nigga. I'm texting you about business, nigga. All these motherfucking blue dots. Blue, and it's you. It's me talking to my fucking self. The shit saying deliver? Bruh, this nigga hate me so much, I text his phone, he text me back from his email. <laughs> no fuck JMWC. Oh, who the fuck is that? I be wanting to text back, man, don't send me the shit I asked Joe for. That nigga got an assistant, though? I don't know where the shit be coming from. He like, you know how motherfuckers be like, I heard you, bruh. That's what it come back to me at. Yeah. Then the shit late. I don't even remember asking for it. Two, three weeks late. It went four episodes then came out. Hey man, you think I get the little clip where the bitches was laughing? He won't send that. The nigga ain't denied. That nigga just laughed. Won't send me none of the shit. I'm doing good. That nigga like shit. That nigga caught me. He on that type of shit. Like now he feel like. Boy, he ain't, you ever watch the, the preview? Nigga never put me in the preview. It just be DC foot up. <laughs> Bro, every episode can't be DC foot up, nigga. <laughs> nigga trying to edit you out. Bro, the then, I done, then I done brought these fine ass women up here. Get what he named the episode? The booty hole. <laughs> out of all the clever shit, he ain't asked me nothing. He was like, what? That's what you think of this. Now you search my name on Google. Is it Carlos Miller, Clayton English, booty hole. He didn't even put their name in the title. It's just me and Clayton in a booty hole. <laughs> Man, you don't change that shit. Would've did a million, but nigga be like, I ain't finna listen to that shit. 
Ain't no telling what they talking about. I got two fat ass women over here. He put booty hole. They ain't spelled booty hole wrong. It's the H in booty hole. He could have said something uplifting for the queens or yeah, some man. shit. The episode three hours long, he picked booty hole. That's all he, I'm you just, probably said the shit one time. I'm just showing you how niggas change up, man. That nigga. This nigga done changed too. Took his dread out. Got his shit great, like he a bad bitch. Who the fuck? What nigga you know take their dreads out mid dreads? And his shit was growing. Come on, man. That's the shit they had when they snatched they so in. No, that shit be just like that. <laughs> that shit be just Bro, like that. Long. That shit been three weeks ago. I still can't accept it. I don't know what the fuck going on. Is he going through a phase? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I guess he just got tired of his goddamn scalp itching. <laughs> You know what it was. Breathe. You know what it was. What? That nigga got out the shower wet and smelt them dread for real. Like, nigga, I'm finna get this booty hole off my head. <laughs> These motherfuckers what kind of like face? Onions. What kind of face he made? <laughs> it hurt. It hurt. That nigga smelt the onions. They all changing though. Like you said, it's a cat. Yeah, cat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cat still wearing long ass short pants. <laughs> Bro, I almost got that swallow peppermint, man. I ain't see that coming. <laughs> cat got the longest goddamn shirt you ever seen, man. This cat be having them gachos on like a motherfucker. Motherfucker be over the guy. <laughs> Only way I know they short, cause it be wide, it be, it be room. <laughs> I don't know if this nigga just got a bad build or if he just I don't like his legs out like Blue. that. How you shop for the motherfucker? Like, what know. you at? I don't know. Man, give me the longest shorts you got. <laughs> Y'all ain't got no jeans that remind you of shorts. If <laughs> yeah. that nigga trying them on, they, they stop right Oh, up. hell no. Nah. Man, who the fuck? Hey, you know what I think it is? He he might be like Hank Hill daddy. He must not have no shins. <laughs> I be looking at cat shorts, be like, you hot, bro? You, <laughs> or you cold? <laughs> <laughs> he buy his he buy his uh, shorts from the indecisive outlet. <laughs> People who don't know what they want. <laughs> His favorite show called Mid Decisions. <laughs> like when, when you first know that he was long short? Like what year it was? The first time he did it. <laughs> I don't forget nothing. He had on some high top and them bitches looked like, I thought he was about to snatch them bitches off like we about to hoop. <laughs> Can't tell me he lying, man. He know I ain't lying. That's why he ain't stood up, because he got some more. <laughs> That's why he's just like, go ahead, bro. You got it. You got it, bro. We well, still seen Chad came in the motherfucker with them khakis on, boy. Chad, Chad came in with them tight ass khakis. Then he had the shirt tucked in like he had been stealing at the grocery store. I like, Chad, you got a fool for young nigga. <laughs> So long, you just sit back and take mental notes. I be watching these niggas. They don't think I be watching them. <laughs> they don't hear me back. They keep, he look, he'll twist the knob, then smell his finger like he be playing with some pussy. <laughs> and twist that bitch and be like, on the low. He know when the camera cut away. Whatever, man. That's y'all. Y'all sick. Quit y'all shit. Oh, now, what do you see this nigga right here, though? The nigga to here. Nigga got the, the uh, mini sprinter. That's how serious he is about the camera, bro. Oh, like, uh, what? The nigga got the sprinter, but it's a mini sprinter. <laughs> All camera equipment. I don't know if the nigga work for the news or what. He <laughs> got sliding doors on both sides, nigga. All kind of cords see, and lying, shit. Right? Hell no. <laughs> Told you. That's what he be riding around listening to, to the instrumental. 
the camera equipment just slide. He be riding up on me. And y'all want to shoot some? Ain't nobody trying to be a star today, huh? Because it's a little van, but it got the big van steering wheel. What side of the wheel? Huh? What side of the wheel? Man, that motherfucker about a 17. I'm a... Then he, he really think he driving a big truck. He got the little knob on the turn. Man, that nigga driving the motor bus. Well, you ought to see the nigga. He be like, hold on, let me run to my truck. I'm like, nigga, that is a van. <laughs> That motherfucker yours though ain't hey, he's trying to drive it bit rough like he like he a G with it. This nigga gonna leave it the other night and hit the tab. <laughs> that little six cylinder was like <laughs> <laughs> well, I ain't gonna tell you transition up. You had bought it just for the camera equipment? Yeah, yeah. You? I don't even know if he got another car. I just wanna see him take his family out to even that bit. Like had to take all the equipment out and then put the seats back oh, in. They won't go. They got to. He ain't taking them. Kids just be in the back, standing up, holding the wall like this. Ah, 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 don't sit on that. <laughs> Get off that court. <laughs> he, he laid in the front, just holding the seatbelt. <laughs> he oh, won't snap. What if he slam on the brakes? Everybody fucked up. Oh, he said he got a rear view mirror. He do. I don't know what the fuck he gonna see, cause ain't no windows in that bitch. <laughs> he can't see shit in the van. I hate for somebody to run up on the red light. Don't say that. And try to open that damn back door. I know he gonna bust at the air. Well, the good thing about it is it's two sliding doors on. It's one on both sides, so he can always get in that bitch. <coughs> oh, he good. Yeah, he looking an extra. So it's a it's a van van. It's a mini sprinter. It like it was like if the sprinter had a baby and it had just started school, it'd be about like five or six year old sprinter. Not like vehicle age, but like as an age as a person, this little vehicle that could. I give them hell about it. I'm like, look at them cute little tires. They what about some 13? So when he first pulled up on him, he didn't even know what he I thought he just had it for the weekend. <laughs> I ain't know that was his shit. Yeah, you just kept seeing it and Damn, kept seeing it. And then he be pulling up at clubs and that bitch. I was like, nigga. He always ready to He valet? Hmm? He don't let nobody drive it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he don't valet it, but he got to park it himself. Yeah. <laughs> he had that bitch right in the front, but he got to park it. Right. You know how I knew shit was serious? What? Because if you look at like the sliding doors, you can't just use a regular key. He got like the little drink machine key you gotta put in there. <coughs> that kind of lock where you put the drink machine key into. So this nigga had to unscrew some shit off and he So it's made... one it's one key that started. Then you got two drink machine keys for the sliding glass door. Oh, it's a different one on each side. The back door only lock unlock if you unlock it with the button in the joint. Damn. That motherfucker, it, hey, it's hard though. He done it's, pimped that motherfucker out. Mr. B, she the engine in the back. You capping now. <laughs> you had, but that nigga ain't got the engine in the back. Most of it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's enough about that. Fuck this shit. <laughs> I like it though. It's, it's reliable. And it's, he getting money. Because oh. you know why? This nigga got capacity. That's why he winning. You gotta have room. Okay, some cameramen, they can't even take all they shit. And just in life, you just gotta have room. Probably, How you gonna hate on a nigga if he got four holes, but he got room for him? Uh, that's probably why a cat wear them long shorts. He got room. He got room. <laughs> I don't know what he trying to take with him. <laughs> he gonna fuck around and pull a camera out of his shit one day. <laughs> <clears throat> he gonna need it cause we gonna record the nigga pulling up in that van. This is what y'all got, the behind the scenes. Ain't the no life scenes, of the 85 man. South, man. We don't have no scenes, it's just one cut. Like if we cut this shit up the scenes, then we could put this behind the scenes. You talking about everybody else? Who? 
Oh, he, he can be in there. He ain't who you think he is. Once we Google who he was and saw how bad his people had it, <laughs> man, you might as well come over here with the niggas, man. White people ain't about to accept you. <laughs> he knew it. And he's like, you right. So we just using, we using racism to our advantage. We trying to get, we about to add two white people to the team. Just so they can, they, like when they call ahead, to make them think we white. Hey, if you're watching this, I need you to go watch Tell Jokes or Drop Fries. <laughs> it's already out. Pre-orders went crazy. I'm at a total of 13 right now. Uh, you can check it out today, tomorrow, man. Just tune in. This is the generic one. But if it's not the generic one, it dropped October 9th. And if you ain't seen it yet, you already late. Everybody at the 85 South Show, I appreciate your countless, countless support. I'm talking about the fans. I'm talking about the fans that's been supporting me from the first time I ever sat in the 85 South couch. Y'all always been asking, Nav, why you keep going back? We don't fuck with you. But if y'all fuck with this special, I ain't got to come back no more. I was just talking shit, man. I appreciate y'all, though. But uh, swipe up the link in my bio. Wherever they put this in, y'all come to my page, and the link is in my bio. And... <laughs> Take 14. This is Nav. This Blue episode Chew. is sponsored by Blue Chew. My name is Carlos Miller. Blue Chew. Dot com. Trust me, at this point, you already know. It's people asking me, man, what that Blue Chew do? Blue Chew brings you the first chewable with the same FDA approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. And it's a sexual stimulant. Now, it's not, it's not going to cure any ailments or anything like that. But it will have you making sweet, sweet love <laughs> to your lady. Blue Chew .com. If you can benefit from more confidence where it counts. Blue Chew is the fastest and easiest way to enhance your performance. These pills are amazing. Go check them out at BlueChew.com. If you could use a confidence boost or you just want to feel like your old self again, trust your mans. Use the promo code. It's only $5, man. You can try it for $5. Go online. BlueChew.com. You can go right on your phone. That's Blue. B-L-U-E. Chew, C H E W dot com. Hey man, make sure you hit that website and use their promo code. I just want you to see what all the hype is about. You get what I'm saying? Trust me on this. Use the promo code, get your first shipment for free. 85 South. I put that on everything. Times is hard out here. You feel me? <laughs> so, little Timmy is like, it's so busy over here. How this Who? No, cocaine. <laughs> he, he think I don't nobody know. Yeah. I've been around a cokehead before. Yeah. Who the fuck run that far for fun? Yeah, just just cause. Uh, Niggas hot out his fucking mind. Motherfucker had a mask on doing the shit. Talking about protecting them from COVID. If you doing cocaine. He gonna die anyway. Yeah. Die anyway. I don't know what the motherfucker wanna be in shape for. So what? Think about it. You be jogging. You say you start jogging in your twenties, and you jog forget till you 35, 36, 37, 38. Now you need knee surgery. You didn't ran your goddamn knees out. Now you gonna be sitting down <clears throat> eating and ain't working the now shit you off, can and sit, your body can't adjust. Now to you it. in here with good ass breath. You breathing good as fuck, but now you need two knees. Mm. Ain't that a bitch? Cause you want to work out and shit. You know how most bodybuilders die? Massive heart attacks. You know what a massive heart attack means? Massive means a bigger, big heart attack. Like you can have a big heart attack, but a massive heart attack, that means your whole shit stop working. Cause you want to pick up heavy shit. I don't know why motherfuckers be in the gym picking up all this goddamn weight. You ain't gonna do shit with all this strength. When last time you seen a big strong motherfucker actually save somebody or Pick a car up from a baby no, or some shit. Not even on movies. I like be in there and tell me, I did lift 600 pounds. Well, go help somebody then. 
motherfucker just want to walk around and show me muscles. Go do something, nigga. <clears throat> I'm just like, everybody in here free and this nigga got a mask on. <laughs> like, who the fuck he don't trust? No, nah, he the most acceptable to that shit. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. That <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Jay, he been like this all day. <laughs> This you mean to tell me Thad don't even know how to turn the camera on? Oh, I was about to say. This, 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 this the most you on I remember, thin man. ice, man. That, that nigga Thad on thin ice, man. This, this the most I remember, man. What? This, this, this. But what? Bro, they be wanting me to be on calls. And you know the type of shit I say. I'm supposed to be on a call with these folk that's professional. A bunch of times, you know I'm going to say some shit eventually. <clears throat> I don't like being on them Zoom calls and shit, because you know how you be on a Zoom call, you just at the crib, you thinking everybody on the same page. Yeah. And then that one motherfucker show up in the Zoom call and flex on everybody. He got a background, like he at the beach and shit. Uh, <clears throat> he in the backyard and like, shit. Like, nigga, you got a green screen, bro. We sitting in our kitchens and shit. Oh, man. I don't like that. I'm going to find out how to work. Is it an app for that? What, a green screen? Like when motherfuckers be putting them backgrounds and shit up. Hell yeah. That's some shit on TikTok. I mean, I ain't on TikTok. I ain't never But that's that. what they getting it on. I heard that that bitch was anti-American or some shit. I be watching them when people send them to me, but I don't have my own account. I'm probably missing on a lot of good shit. That mean you a You on that? Nah. If you on OnlyFans? Like, I don't know. Like, like, you don't got an account, but yeah, you, like, yeah, be I watching fuck, hoes I and shit. Around, I fuck around. Who your favorite? I, one? I just support and shit. Right. Some people. I ain't I saying, to. like, they hoes. Yeah, I'm saying, I'm I, saying some like, girls I went to school with, I just support them and shit. <laughs> like, how much I, you spend I, in a month on OnlyFans? Huh? How many subscriptions you done subscribe to? Well, that's when I, like, they, you know, we're having a little unemployment. Nigga just gone goals. goddamn avoid the whole question. Well. Uh, Probably about thirty dollars a month. But why you can't just why you gotta subscribe? Why you can't just go see her naked and then dip the fuck out? I guess she hit you with new shit every month. I can't. I couldn't subscribe because <clears throat> this is you know it's a surprise to you subscribe. What if I subscribe and I don't like her nipples? Then I'm like, nope, I'm out of here. Not about to watch this shit. So just because her nipples, they'll be like, no. Nah. Bro, I done quit fucking with the girl because I ain't like her nipples. She had a big ass titty look like my nipple on it. I'm like, what you did this? You wasted all this titty for this little stupid ass nipple. You ever told her about it? It wasn't for me to tell her because I, I felt like she knew. Felt like she knew. I just don't like how women can quit fucking with you for any reason, but as soon as you don't fuck with them no more, you're a bad person. Sometimes they won't even tell you. But then you try not to tell them why you don't like them no more, and then they don't take that shit right. I'm like, I'm trying to spare you. I'm not about to really tell you why I don't like you. Just leave. Yeah. Ain't that fucked up? I would tell them. That they won't leave? <laughs> I think I was talking to Cat. I was talking to one of them. I told Cat, the worst person, talks nah, about him. He always wants you to go back to the bitch. Right? <laughs> No, this girl told me some like it, it caught me off guard. Like, you know, I, I, it was some weak ass Man, shit you, I did. It ain't nothing that'll yeah. shock me. Yeah, but okay. She was like, I just didn't expect this out of you, even the ugly niggas cheat. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he played the fuck out you. Yeah, I'm like, damn, bitch. <laughs> That's how you be feeling there. She was dead ass shit. This is the type of shit you got to deal with. Yeah. I think she was a lot of. She was just a little out of, out of, you know, out of, out of bounds with the conversation. I thought you were about to say she was out of league. Like, why are you fucking with chicks that ain't on your level? Who? You I still be like doing I, this shit? I feel like all of them on my level. Right. You know, one thing that I'm probably regret when I'm an old man is I ain't never like nobody who ain't already like me first. Like, if you don't like me first, fuck you. I'm not going to find a motherfucker to like. That what turned me on by the female. She liked me. I think I done did she that shit ugly. about one or four times. But other than that, 
I ain't liking no fucking body. You gotta like me first or fuck you. That's just how I'm rolling. Start looking past shit. Like, she got a good personality. I'm really at that age where I don't really give a fuck about the looks no more. I'm really, I care about how much money she got. <clears throat> Straight off the top. Right, because there's something different about a chick who needs some money and a chick that'll give you some money. That's two different ball games. Like I said, you fucking with a grown ass woman, she'll fuck around and buy you a truck for your birthday. Mm. You said some real shit then. I'm talking about the one you want. With all the all the extra. Fully loaded motherfucker. Yeah, sunroof, all that shit. High suspension. Two jet skis on the back and shit like that. Good credit. 800. Bunch of money. Big ass house. Then sometimes what females ask for, you realize what kind of females you're dealing with. You ever went over a single woman house and she had some shit over there just in, you know, just to attract a nigga? You could tell it was some shit that wasn't hers. Like you go over there, you pull it in the garage. You be like, who, who old school is that? <laughs> <laughs> really? For real? She got you, Lo. She got me. You done I didn't the hood what? at all. What? Man, that shit happens. That didn't happen before. That didn't happen before. <laughs> it's different, ain't it? I'm easy to please. She can you ever bought a chicken car? Hell no. Oh. <laughs> you know we on two different goddamn. Oh. Man. We in two I mean, different leagues, nigga. I, mean, forget, I, don't, I don't pay for a few oil changes, nigga, but I ain't never bought no damn car. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. I don't bought a car washer, too. <laughs> <laughs> Not no damn car. <laughs> Shit. Not, don't get it twisted. I went mine, but uh, I, I just can't right now. What's the most expensive? <laughs> Shit. The most, Shit. It's the most expensive thing you ever bought a woman? The most expensive thing? Yeah. You heard me, nigga. You know how you know a nigga about to lie? Most expensive. <laughs> hey. No, I had to sit back and think. I don't wanna. <laughs> Shit. I don't know. It gonna sound ignorant. I ain't gonna say it. Oh, say it, nigga. You done said worse. <laughs> like you just like you just don't say ignorant shit no more. Like you stop. <laughs> do it count. Who is this nigga, bro? You got the David Bell shirt on, you think you're a good person? <laughs> nigga, fuck you, bro. I ain't been saying nigga in a minute. Shit, I don't think you are a good person. What? Man. <laughs> Man, you like this other black hey, This nigga need a contract. Hey, nigga, bro. Shit. You acting different today. Hey, I don't think you're a good person. Nigga, fuck you. This nigga need a contact, bro. You acting different today. What the fuck wrong with I seen the nigga. I'm like, what's up, King? I mean, he calling the king. Oh, nigga, yeah, my nigga. I think it come with the shirt when you wear this shit, man. Not now. <laughs> shit. That's how you feel, bro. What's the most expensive but no, thing like, you ever bought a woman? It don't count like paying rent for my baby mama and shit. No, because you got to. Because yeah, the baby out. stay there. Yeah. But uh, I know you would just be paying them in rent. Yeah, oh. Uh, shit, probably a TV. <laughs> <laughs> like this, like I'm talking about a 4K motherfucker. <laughs> Don't laugh at my expensive guilt, bro. Because I'll go take it back from the bitch. <laughs> but, but hell, you going to sit here and laugh in the nigga face. Because she was happy. She was happy. I'm not laughing at you. But no, gift. like, no, look. She was I'm like, laughing because of your gift. What your gift was. That's all I'm laughing at. Bro, she wanted to, she wanted to, like, you know, all the apps and shit to watch all the shit. So I said, I got you. Surprised on Christmas. I ain't even route that motherfucker. I'm telling you, you regret that shit. Yeah, she probably laid up with another nigga watching this shit now. Bruh, that's the sick part. I know, I know she is. <laughs> Damn. Cause I did, I pulled a big flex, bruh. I know one chick I was fucking with, I had bought her the Sex in the City DVD. Hmm? And the way she watched that shit, I know about three niggas that seen that whole series. She just put it on like And that's the fucked up part about the Sex in the Series, Sex in the City series is, I don't give a fuck what kind of nigga you is. Have you watched two of them episodes, then you gotta see the rest of that goddamn show. And niggas who done seen any episodes of Sex in the City, you pick a favorite hoe, and then you play that bitch out like Monopoly. Oh, yeah. That real spill. No, she looked it so fine on the show. Uh, the 
The star Sarah, what, Sarah just, what was her name? I'm not about to say that, but. You know. What I'm saying, like, nah, she, she, she became attractive to me. She really ain't my type of white woman. No white woman, my type of white woman. Any white woman where you can see her bones, I'm not fucking with that. I'm not fucking with that. Who your, who your favorite white woman? You and your lady can be at the house quarantining with a whole sex swing. You can hang her ass up in the kitchen and give her the business by the bananas. <laughs> you can really be somebody. Lingerie is not expensive. They'll send it straight to your crib and have your girl walking around here looking like Scarlett. I don't even know if that's her name, but that's the name on the, you be looking like her tied up in the kitchen, hanging from the sex wing. Then you bring this old joke out and buzz her right quick. Oh my God, you can have all of these nice things delivered discreetly to your home if you go to adamandeve.com and use promo code 85 South Show. Guess what? Whatever you pick out of this, or whatever you pick, if you use the code, the first time you use it, 50% off. A little freak ass. adamandeve.com. <laughs> Hang your girl. I'll take this. Hang her up in the bathroom and then just turn the shower on. The steam gonna clean her body. <laughs> <laughs> That's promo code 85 South Show. And remember, the steam will clean her body. I'm gonna leave this with you right here just so you can think about it. Uh. I got a few favorite like movie white ladies. Not like I want like my personal white lady. Yeah. Like this a cold ass white lady, Scarlett Johansson. And you know who else a cold ass white lady? Who? Jamie Lee Curtis. See you gotta be great. Oh no. Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah, I know who you talking about. Man, Jamie Lee Curtis done did everything from whoop Michael Myers ass to teach aerobics in the movie. Julia Roberts a cold ass white I lady. I like her. Hell yeah. There's a few out there. That girl from The Hunger Games. I like her tenacity. I like Shotta. Katniss Everdeen. I like Shotta from uh, Saved by the Bell, too. Who? The one Zach was talking to. Damn, what's her name? Kelly? Kapowski. Kelly Kapowski. Yeah, she was straight. Patty Mayonnaise. She was black, though. I'll do it. I'll do it. She was bad. She was black, though. She did not want to fuck with them. You know who else is one of my favorite white ladies, too? Who? Um, the mama from Married with Children. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Katie Seagal. Oh, yeah. that's a real name? Yeah. And the other uh, yeah, you mom, really you know who else was dope? The mom from Home Improvement. I used to watch Home Improvement with Tim yeah. Allen. Darlene off Roseanne. She was my favorite one of she Roseanne was a rebel. Yeah, I like, I like that. Right. Bitch. They probably had a whole episode of Darlene bringing a black friend home. <laughs> that shit just didn't air. Probably. <laughs> you, know, the, you know, Roseanne didn't have no black people on it for about 15 seasons. <clears throat> so they got in the diner one. Yeah, and then the manager was black for a little bit, but then I think he stole some money. <laughs> and Jackie was cool. Oh, yeah. She couldn't keep no nigga for shit. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Who else? Who else on that? Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. I like her mode. Cindy Crawford used to be a cold ass white lady. Bro, it gonna sound crazy, but you know, know who broke my heart? Who? When I found out Ellen didn't like uh, men. Ellen? Yeah. You ain't like Ellen, she just I, so cool. I was like, I can fuck with y'all. She is cool. Yeah. I, wanted, I wanted to love Ellen, but then I found out she was mean to hell. Yeah, that's recently. I'm talking about before. I, and I stopped I, fucking with her when I found out she don't fuck with me. That, that was like in the in early, late 80s. Though, <laughs> but I caught, I caught it late. You ain't even get to enjoy none of the new Ellen. <laughs> yeah, I caught, it, I caught it late. Just seeing her mm. dance and shit. As it, and that's the fucked up part. I think Ellen, not only does she not like men, I feel like for some reason she especially don't like niggas. You know what I'm saying, so? Mm-mm. Black, not like black men. I think she only really like, she like Kevin Hart. She like Diddy too. 
Yeah, she like Diddy, because he, he got scared on her show. She, yeah. She's funny then. With the clown. Right. Yeah. That's how you know I fuck with her. I know the show you talking about. Yeah, yeah. I ain't say no Spanish one. I'm talking about the like regular ass oh, white nigga. ladies. When J Lo played Selena. Whew. J Lo was Selena. Man, I hate that fat funky bitch who killed her, man. We all do. We all do. You know what? Yeah, hey, Selma no Hayek is dope. You know who else? I, who I can't? Who I don't fuck with though on no level? Who? Motherfucking nasty ass, dirty ass, trifling ass Jenny from Forrest Gump. Oh, man. Jenny was the most low down bitch I ever seen in my life. Oh, Jenny was low With down With no regret. Bitch. No regard for nothing. Nothing. Didn't even tell Forrest about Lil' Forrest. That nigga would have left wherever he was and ran to Lil' Forrest had he known. Got Lil' Forrest thinking don't nobody love him. Man, that little white boy who was in the Sixth Sense, he don't get none of his credit. Oh, no. I see. That nigga was a dick. He ain't been in shit since though. You know who I feel bad for though? Who? And I, I don't even know if I should, but it just kind of broke my heart to see them little babies grow up and, not, and then they just turn to some old ass ladies. Motherfucking Mary Kate and Ashley. Oh, man. Britney Spears broke my heart. Britney Spears oh, looked crazy. Oh, God, as she looked horrible. Britney Spears looked terrible, man. She looked like. You saw when she cut her hair and all She that? looked like leftover McDonald's breakfast now. <laughs> Bruh, it just make you sad because you know some white boy had them pictures on his wall growing up. Uh, he all did. She raised a generation of white folks. Damn. Miley Cyrus got her shit together. Yeah. <clears throat> that's that's who played Hannah Montana, them. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, Macaulay Culkin. What the he fuck just, is funny? He just been lost. <laughs> He grew up, these, <laughs> these memories, childhood memories. Oh, okay. Macaulay Culkin, that motherfucker went crazy. Quick. Whatever happened to Lizzie McGuire? Oh, she was. And she married to. Uh, that was Hillary Duff? And she married to Tracy Ellis Ross. Who? Son, brother. Tracy Ellis Ross got a brother, the dude from ATL. He married one of them white girls. Then he married Ashley Simpson or somebody. Oh, he yeah, did? Ashley Simpson. Damn. Jessica oh, that Simpson. Jessica Simpson sister. She had them titties, but she don't take bad. I used to shit. watch her show. I didn't. Oh. She was married to the Nick. When Lachey. she asked, when she asked Nick Lachey, if, if that Fish shit, in the sea shit. If it was yeah. a chick, if yeah. she asked him if tuna was chicken, because it said chicken of the sea, I was through with her goof ass then. Yeah. <laughs> through with her. You talk about Saved by the Bell. Jesse was underrated. Jesse. Yeah, she was on there. She got naked in that movie, and everybody looked at her different. She was straight. <clears throat> I hate that Lisa Turtles ain't fine no more. Lisa Turtles, nigga. <laughs> her real name going through something. Man. I, I fuck with Lisa Turtles, man. You know who I always thought was one of the coldest on TV? Like she, like when I was growing up, cause she was around my age range. Fucking Ashley. Ashley who? From Fred Prince. Oh, hell yeah, nigga, that's a given. And you know who else was fine as hell when I was growing up? Who? Tia and Tamara. I can only like one of them. You gotta like go with Tia. Yeah. Tamara had a little stronger face. I don't like the one who, what is everyone married to the white man? Who, Tamara? I don't know. Oh. I like the other one. Uh, Tia don't be on the scene, so it's probably Tamara with the white one. What else? I fuck with the other one. She yeah, was yeah. on Wild and Out, my crush, though. Oh. With y'all, uh, Kiki Palmer. I love Kiki. But I, don't, I can't love her like, I want to love her like, I want to be with her. She too young, I look like, because I knew her like, as a key in the B. So I couldn't love yeah. her like that. That's some real nigga She had shit, to like man. me. Like, I couldn't like pull her. Like, she had to want girl, me. Girl, watch out. Like, you had to get like, one of them. Fuck them. Girl, you ain't gonna, I'm not about to tell you no, Gigi. <laughs> yeah. I like her. I don't think she like men like that for real yet, though. For real? You know what I'm saying? Like, she still really focused on work. She ain't really fucking with no nigga like that. Shit, right now everybody can focus on on love and shit. Yeah. And I don't want to. I don't want no famous woman. I don't think though. 
Maybe. You can fuck with a chick that's famous, like way more famous than you. Hell no. Nah. Now, it, could, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be on no jealousy type shit. It'd just be like, bitch, sit down somewhere. Like, you know what I'm saying? God damn, bitch, you can't be that damn busy. Yes, he can. Though. But she really is. But that just me, like, damn, I just want to chill with my old lady for a minute. You saying that's some bitch ass nigga shit to Man, say? Man, fuck it. I can't believe you said that. Fuck it. Out of all the shit, Cause I they gonna make me was, cheat. Nigga, you gonna cheat on your famous girl? Bro, if she always working. <laughs> You was tell hey, me. I'm at the fucking you, house. You as a black man gonna really sit here and tell me you gonna cheat on some? No, I'm saying I'm gonna cheat on the family. I can't believe my ears, nigga. I'm not gonna cheat on her, I'm gonna cheat on the family. I'm gonna go get you, another family. You gonna go get love somewhere else? I just wanna be loved and respected. Damn. You can't cheat on your famous chick, bro. Cause so you, if you she would, famous like that, it don't you can find the coldest regular bitch that you can fuck with. She still ain't gonna look fine once them damn TMZ cameras hit her. You gonna look like the most dis, like, ungrateful nigga in America. She wouldn't, if I do that, she wouldn't be black. She wouldn't be. Nah, because you gonna fuck around and create a monster. Say for instance, you fucking with like one of them famous singer ass shit. Give me, she, give me one. You find out that you, like, she find out you got a regular ass sand bitch. You broke her heart. She is embarrassed publicly in front of America. Oh, this next album, album gonna oh, sell 122 man. million copies, and everybody gonna know that you the no good ass nigga that inspired these great. What singer you tunes. think it'll be that'll be fucking with me? I don't know, because I, <laughs> I don't know. I can't just give you some. I'm bro. saying you can speak the bro, shit in this, existence. This hypothetical. Which one you like? Mm, right now? Your favorite singer lady. But she ain't just singing, though. Who? I'm fucking with Mulatto. Oh, you like Big Lotto. <laughs> that bitch be talking that shit on them raps. I like, oh, For god real? damn, man. When she say a nigga getting her head in the hummel, that'll be me. I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't going to have it down. I'm like, man, scoot that goddamn chill. I ain't back, know man. you were talking about rap chill. You know, you know who I love on, on the rappers, the rapper ladies. Cash Donald. That's you, ain't it? But she getting you some fucking with. What I, you mean? But you you seen, I don't know, man. It's what a nigga told me. He like, bro. What a nigga told you? Yeah, I was looking scared. Like, like, no uh, what? I, I don't know. Like she, like, she be throwing the shit at you, and then next thing I know, you tweeting about politics. I'm like, man. <laughs> I said, I told a nigga, Lowe's be busy. Like, Lowe's can't be doing that shit like that. God damn. I, I took ain't know. I ain't even know. I don't know what the nigga seen that I ain't see, but he clearly just was saying that because he wanted to say that because he had that on his heart. <laughs> But I ain't get in the detail with the nigga. I just walked off. No, I'm just like, saying, right. whether she did or she didn't, that's still my favorite rapper. Right. Nigga stopped me at Home Depot. Man. I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? Right. So, so that's how you know the shit fake, because niggas everywhere I already know. So niggas doing everything they can to try to speak negativity around oh. the situation. That's all that nigga is. Nigga don't want to see that shit happen. They don't. They don't, but my nigga Marvin Gaye always give me that look like you gonna let a nigga, like you gonna let a nigga. Oh yeah, he is. Boy, don't. Matter of fact, timing ain't right. Why would I want to edit fuck, that out? Why would I want to fuck with her in the COVID? Mm. I can't even catch up on on all the shit I've been missing. I gotta wait till the world open back up. Like y'all gonna do like real couple shit, like nigga. I'm talking about going to Six Flags with. I have face on the t-shirt. Oh, no, you ain't kicking that shit like that, dude. Nigga, nigga, I can see it in your eyes, nigga. I'm you talking serious about the motherfucking chain with the fucking names on it. Nah, just, oh, you know what's so dope? Both of y'all K and K. Have KK on that motherfucker. Tattoos, matching Timberlands. Oh, yeah. A dog. Nigga. She got a dog, but we, our dog. I just have to come through one day. That's Jay, the thing. And Jay, when he you, all rap against each other, cause she gonna think thing. shit sweet. When your girl, when, when your girl on that level, ain't no company, dog. I come over, we'll, we'll stop through. When you coming in, we just gonna jump out, holler at you on the porch and shit. And so I out. couldn't see a rap battle? No, like, bro, this, come on. She do this. 
But low, like it's not for your fucking entertainment, bro. I'm just saying. What if I just be like, don't think you can out rap my nigga, and she say some slick, you would have to go in. No, I wouldn't. I'm up and go home and have to deal with that shit. Oh. You thought that I was just pulling up? With? You don't know how to vision. You don't know how to visualize. Break it down you, for me. Cause you, you put me in the vision. You still put me in a position like I wouldn't run this shit. You get what I'm saying? Like I gotta ask for permission or some type of shit. She in the vision. She fucking with me, fucking with me like that. Like we together already. Ain't no goddamn. Hey, babe, you think it's cool if my nigga get a picture? Like we past that point. Bro, like you know her, right? You get she what I'm saying? She might be so like she might not even talk to niggas when they come around. Well, I'm like, just, like how we gonna come over your crib and then we really got this big ass house and it's just us and we chilling. What we gonna keep going outside for? Yeah. Just to show off? We private now. Hey, I say it ain't no company. I told you I don't know where Joe live. You're not about to know where we stay at. <laughs> and you my nigga. But so I pull up. Well, I you're not pull pulling. Yeah, 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 you're not it, pulling yeah. up. That's the thing. And it ain't personal. You just not about to be pulling up. I'm just saying, I don't know. I know you just saying, you come over to the crib and now we get the goddamn drinking and shit and you two, now you, you know what I'm saying, you're in the driveway and then the neighbors be calling them folks down there at the office. They, they got four, five cars over there. They don't do it like this all the time. What's going on? Is everybody safe? And then the shit on high the alert. Yeah. You don't even know that Philip B, you know, he talking about the flowers and shit. If you want a nigga come over there and drink coffee. I'm living a different life is what I'm saying. Hmm. We successful. What, what, she, what if she have friends over? That's fine. Mm-hmm. You got to keep in mind now. I'm, I done moved in her house. Oh. Right. <laughs> I mean. So yeah, you just can't force. Other right. Kids. It's not like I got full parental rights. I'm st- I'm a step daddy. <laughs> like I'm running shit, but I'm not. But about to a, a limit. It's a line because we waiting on our other house to get built. That's both ours. Right. But in the meantime. Level, but I can never go to a 10. So tell me this now, Los. What if she hit you one day? Why you don't never invite your partners over? Then would you hit me and be like, No. Oh, shit. Nah. What'd you say? Uh, partners. Fuck <laughs> 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 Partners. <laughs> so it's just you and her when what? y'all lock in. Ain't it over it. I mean, we're going to still talk shit on the phone and shit. But ain't gonna be no popping up, coming through, Damn. chilling. We ain't doing none of that. Well, I mean, we got enough room for all that, but that's not what we bought this house Would for. Would y'all be like looking into doing like reality TV? Cause like people uh, no. wanna know the, no. like what's going on? It's not about what people wanna know. <laughs> gonna give me y'all nothing. Dang. If it ain't, it, um, the best you gonna get is a three minute video. And I'm at the end of the video. So she done did the old video, then right. you just at the end. Just cook a little smirk. <laughs> I'm not about to be all in the video. That real, man. Like, I don't, bro. Like, I'm not even going to do no joke about it. Ain't even, in the special, in my comedy, ain't even no joke about my famous lady. It's all joke. <laughs> hey, man, why you don't never talk? Man, it's, I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm slick. I'm happy for you, but it's slick like her at the same time. Now you just gotta understand. Yeah. Because if it was you. Because now I want that type of love that you got. No, I'm telling you, if it was you, I would totally understand. You get snatched up by one of these famous ass single ladies. Now you living over here, y'all just signed this $100 million deal. You think I'm just about to pull up the bullshit? Yeah. But you, I don't know what she done gave you to do. I'm not, I'm not sure you're not responsible for this hundred million dollar deal, but you got two, three hundred thousand dollars worth of shit you could be doing around here. I just feel like me and Mulatto will still be in the clubs and shit. That's the problem. You're not. Stop thinking about it so hard, bro. You, like, shit. Would you pull up on us? I, you got. You probably had to ask if you got our company. She a gangster oh, no. bitch. That one the first, that one we'll have our first little dispute. Not over me. I don't want to see you not be happy because I'm trying to come over there, bro. Nah, I, I just be on some shit like, what the fuck you saying my nigga can't pop up? First of all, you can't talk to her like that. 
You don't listen to her song. I already know she'll be done came to me like that where I gotta come back like that. Cause mm. now the problem ain't even about what y'all had a problem about. Mm. It's just how you fucking talking to her and being disrespectful. Something to think about. You don't wanna get put out. Not around this time. Yeah. I'm thinking, yeah, mulatto might be a little bit too strong for me. <laughs> Stay in your lane. Yeah, I need to stay in my you lane. Gotta, you better be careful what you ask for because you fuck around and get it. Yeah. That's why you don't really see me on here asking for shit. Damn. I'm just trying to maintain. If not, why? That was on my number one. I don't know who number two. See, that's so recent. That let me know that you really. So before her, it wasn't on number one. That's oh, so yeah. recent. Who was number one? Who your old number one? Talking about single, single lady? It don't matter at this point. We ain't finna pull. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, Kiki Palmer, Kiki Palmer. You, I knew it was something. I felt like you was going to go back to Kiki Palmer. Yeah, Kiki but you don't got range. You know who my old number one is? Who? Tyra Banks. This is before she had the talk show, though. <laughs> that talk show really killed my whole crush. I ain't, I ain't like her on Fresh Prince. You know when I liked her? When? When, she, when her titties was too big for her body. Mm. When she was skinny, like high learning. Oh, yeah. She looked like her iron was low. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I like that one. I like the Jack Y'all 227. Jack K. She fired. She fired today. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. TV women be TV women be be leaving an impression though. Right. Hell yeah. You ever used to watch like what's that show with Robert Townsend? The Parenthood. Parenthood. Zaria. Oh boy. Zaria, Zaria was so damn fine. Zaria need to be in the Hall of Fame. That's what I'm saying. Like well, these are women I had to watch grow up to be fine. Yeah. Like, but even though I, I watched it, I didn't never have no crush on Moesha. Why? I just never felt her style. It wasn't her style that ain't like, I just felt like she was a little too mean. And I said that way back in the day, and now people watching Moesha on Netflix and they seeing how mean and selfish yeah. she was. Couldn't fuck with Moesha. I think I was just an easy to please child, cause anybody who was the star, I liked that. Like right off top, like it didn't take much. Nah, when we was talking about the white women earlier, we left a motherfucking legend off. Who? Nigga Topanga. Boy Meets World. She had that lips. Spent she had three lips. different spinoffs. Trying to catch the pain. Trying to catch the pain. And the first you know couple. That with him. And that's the crazy part. When the show first came on for like the first four, five seasons, she was weird. Topanga, he didn't like Topanga. Then when they came back, he was on Topanga. It was Topanga was weird and Minkus was weird. Mm. His little partner Minkus was the nerd. Hey, what's that show when they used to be on the steps? The white family. It was like, uh, Three Brothers, was it? Damn. Ain't no reason why you don't know. You don't even smoke weed. How your memory been? Nah, cause the show wasn't really shit. But it made me think. They was on some steps. What was they doing? Oh, man. I'm, now I'm gonna have to Google that shit. White show with <laughs> niggas on steps. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, bro? I don't know. It, like, the white man, he was, uh, matter of fact, he's somebody's daddy uh, who was singer. You know what I'm talking about? Alan, Alan Thicke, that show. I don't know what show that was. Growing Pains, that's it, man. Oh, okay. Yeah. Robin Thicke. They Dick was on Fox. those steps, you remember them? Yeah. That's, you took it back. You took it all the way back. Oh, shit, that's a new 85 song hoodie. Nah, she made that. Oh shit. That's some new merch. I'll buy that motherfucker. You ain't gonna buy shit. How much 85 South Show merch you got? I got a lot. Damn, well, I want it back, nigga. I was just uh, trying to make sure you was. I was looking uh, like, man, what? Damn, I was just trying to make sure you was straight look goofy at me. I might take that hoodie right there, but I think it's bigger than it actually looks. I got a couple of them. Yeah. My girls be wanna wear them shits and shit. You got girls? Are you the daughters? 
Yeah. Oh, my girl. You. you said it like you had a bunch of motherfucking oh. women or something. I got about three kids, man. What? I ain't playing, Lo. Dog, what is, what's going on? What you trying to do? You going trying to catch old boost? Nah, oh, man, it's just like. Bro, when you start making all these kids? When they were like with the stimulus, like each child, you get an extra 500. I said, boss, who? <laughs> I'm gonna run this shit the fuck up. <laughs> Bro, you really out here getting motherfuckers nah, pregnant for five hundred? I was about to nah, say yeah, that. Got to. That goddamn baby gonna cost you at least seventy-five thousand dollars a year. And my 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 oldest daughter, who she just she ten now, like she getting in that stage low. Where it's like when she hit me, she wants some serious shit. Like it ain't it ain't no like checking on dad no more. It's like that money. Yeah. Run that check, nigga. Let me ask you this, since you're a parent, though. How much you think it costs to raise a black child from birth to 18? If Like putting a price tag yeah, on? Yeah, not, not your child, like you. How much you think was spent on your life between zero and 18? Come on, oh, me? Yeah, all together. Man, my, mom, my mom probably spent 11,000. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven thousand. I ain't see that shit. Man. Hey, everybody laughing, but that shit crazy. Hey, the number ain't high as motherfucking think. You might be about right. From zero to eighteen, about eleven. And every time you ask, you ask, it felt like you get on it. God damn, you need some more money. Man, it's a fucking field trip. Like, what yeah. the fuck? You want me to be the only Make you wait school? all goddamn week for that little fuck ass five dollars. I got to turn my money in. It was ten dollars. You turn in five dollars deposit and five dollars before you leave. You got two months to come up with five goddamn dollars. Well, that last day, you got to wake your mama up from school. Mom, can I get that five dollars? Shit! Where my purse at? Please hurry up the bus outside. I'm gonna miss the bus. And what's so crazy? You asked them the night before. Get it in the morning. Get like it you in told the, me to wake you up. Get it in the goddamn morning. The reason why I said 11, because I spent five years staying with my grandma. Oh, well, it might be sick. <laughs> yeah. No, your grandma that, ain't spent my yeah, Grandma ain't spent shit. Yeah. Nigga, one years old, ain't neck bone. Nigga, don't, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nigga ain't never ate no baby food, nigga. <laughs> your granddaddy pick you up. He all right. Yeah. He all right. Nigga. A car seat, nigga, you in that truck just sliding back and forth in that motherfucker. You ever had your baby in the, in the goddamn car seat and you turn and then you look back, you got them baby. Oh, you yeah. know? <laughs> <laughs> nigga gotta wait till you get it real like, I ain't messed shit up. <laughs> your baby, you that bitch fucked up. Man, you feel like a little terrible parent when that happened. Man, I remember the first time I let my daughter ride in the front seat. Well, you would think her mama seen me letting her smoke a cigarette. You just a fucking, like, <laughs> what kind of nigga are you? Oh, bitch, it's just the front seat. Man, we just went to the public. <laughs> she hit it with the, what kind of nigga is you? Yeah. Been, uh, <laughs> like, she on the phone all day. Girl, the nigga pulled up, and she just in the front seat. <laughs> I don't got to play like I don't hear the shit. Like, bitch, who are you going to tell? God <laughs> ah, damn. Motherfucking serious. Petty ass arguing me and my baby mama <laughs> And I'm, I still stand on this shit to this day. I go pick my son up. She has some of them goddamn sandals on him with his toes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, How old was it? I'm looking for fuck out of you. <laughs> Take that bullshit off me. <laughs> I think we left barefoot that day. I wore my son. You can, hey, you can ask her that shit for real. Yep, I ever saw anytime I ever seen my son, was just, I'm taking them, I'm throwing them bitches out right then. Little boys don't wear sandals, not to me. Nah, they ain't supposed to. They Hell ain't supposed nah. to. Cause little boys got shit to do. They need their feet covered up. They got to go play. You can't run dirt. in the motherfucking sandals. Hell no. Nah. Nigga, basketball game start. That nigga out there would cook out You know how, cause I, cause I was abused as a child, had to wear them fucking sandals and that little metal part to stab your little in the right hand foot. That look, my, my little side foot meat still tender from fucking around with them. With your Easter outfit? Man, no, nigga, all summer. Oh, shit. Sandals. Goddamn sandals off.
I know. Oh. I never wear another sound. They got a lotion in feet. What? You ain't put no damn lotion on. Man, mm -mm. bitch, I am tired of wearing the sandals. There's some other shit you had to do as a black kid. Don't nobody even remember the word. Comb your head. That's that's a whole tag. See how quiet the room got? Comb your head. That was a that's a task, nigga. Some niggas didn't you can have be comb all the your way head dressed tension. on your way out the door. You walk past your mom. Uh-uh. Get in there and comb your head. And as a man, as a boy, that's confusing. Okay. Hey, what's up? What's going on? Is there something preventing you from finding your true happiness in life? Would you like to speak to a professional who may be able to help you? BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in many areas. The service is available for clients worldwide. You can speak to a professional online, so you don't have to be uncomfortable or be in an awkward situation speaking to somebody who may be able to address the issues you may or may not have. So seek help. Go to BetterHelp.com. It's online. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. Visit betterhelp.com backslash 85 south. That's better H E L P and join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. Special offer for 85 south show listeners. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com backslash 85 south. Here are some testimonials. I really appreciate Jennifer's empathy and kindness. I feel heard and supported. She has offered some really helpful practices. Hey, make sure you visit betterhelp.com backslash 85 south. I didn't know how to fucking comb my head. Did you go straight like? That's brushing your hair. See, it's the difference. You can brush your hair. So you were combing to the side? You have to comb your head. Cause if you go over your grandma house, she ain't got no goddamn brush. You just gotta comb your head. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Call your lady, ask if she wanna go to Applebee's. First thing she's gonna say, uh-uh. Ain't even comb my head. <laughs> you used to eat at restaurants when you stay when growing up and shit? Well, I, I probably had a job most of my life. I ain't never been limited to doing shit niggas had to be limited to do. That's why I laugh at seven and eight, lotion. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> God, damn. My mom. Making this life sound tough. I love them so dope. We had a good life in the beginning. <laughs> oh, okay. It was money in the family. It trickled down. Shit didn't get rough to the middle. Like, you ain't even know how to bounce back from the shit at first, huh? Nah, it wasn't even that. I was so, because we balled so hard, I didn't even realize we was moving on to another level. Oh, okay. Talking about stupid shit. We used to open Christmas presents for 30, 40 minutes an hour. And they was, we was lit like that. And they get tired of opening the gifts up. Open something later on. Damn. Big flex. This in the 80s. The economy was down too. But yeah. the streets was doing real well. You ain't have a million gifts under that tree. I never understood why we just didn't go get some property and leave the hood. Because I guess it was just too much money. Yeah, nigga don't want to leave their fucking <coughs> Yeah, I mean, even if we, even when we lived in the hood, I think we still had the nicest spot in the hood. Float model TV? In every room. Oh, shit. It's always been a standard in my house. I had one in my room since I had a room. For real? Yeah. Big, big magna box and, and quay stars oh, yeah. and shit like that. You know that. what the fuck you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Talking about the old school flow model with the knob in the front of that bitch. Oh, yeah. 98 goddamn channels. You can only go forward, though. You couldn't really go back. Nigga, I remember my dad. And when you remember when you turned the TV, that bitch used to make a goddamn noise like a door was closed, like clump, clump, clump. Yeah. Every time you hit a channel. Come on, man. Nigga, I've been, doing, I've been doing this shit since like 86, 87. He had ran the cable from the living room to my room. Nigga, so I've been had cable. <laughs> You been had cable? Been had in the room. I remember when cable was 13 channels. Nigga, you could have been on my sweet 16 or some shit. Nigga, I, nigga. 
I'm talking about I used to flex so hard in the project. And I used to have two birthday cakes every year. Every year. Because I used to have 40, 50 niggas at the party. I got pictures to prove all this shit. I got one birthday picture I don't understand to this day. I'm wearing a whole short set. My cousin sitting right beside me with a goddamn sweat on. It's another nigga behind me with a jacket on. I don't know what the temperature was. Mm. My arms out, though. <clears throat> you feel I be telling story. niggas on here, my childhood was fucking amazing. I had a robot and all type of shit. I keep bringing that up because I know niggas didn't. So it looks like you probably were destined for this life. I don't, I don't know. I probably already lived this life before. Damn, dog. Yeah, I'm just really coming who to I'm tie still up. stuck on that cable. Trying to tie up a few loose ends. You Until you said it, I literally thought my family had invented that. I didn't know other people was hip. Mm. Yeah. Movie night was in my room. I had a, not only did I have the flow model TV, bro, I had a VCR. Wearing a VCR was a luxury. I don't believe that shit. You know, like when the family used to come to the crib and watch the movies, we would all be in my room, nigga. You ain't had no VCR in your room. Nigga, I had two beds since I was born. This ain't even a flex though, it was just like, I didn't know that they might have thought I was having a little brother, but like, I had like, I had I was sleep in this bed one night, sleep in this one, like back and forth, until my little brother was born, and then he ain't sleep in the bed, so I just kept my shit going. I always had two beds. You never think about putting them together? <clears throat> they wasn't them kind of beds. These were separate individual beds. Like two full beds, I'm thinking they bunk beds split up. Mm -mm. Bunk beds came later when my little brother was born. I, I was I was a bottom bunk type nigga, but he was little. He was a little, little nigga, so I had to go up the top because he kept falling <laughs> he, off yeah, the top. Yeah, he couldn't handle that. Yeah, but he would never wake up. He'd just fall, stay asleep. We ain't know he had failed this nigga. Y'all, this is all true shit. I don't know why you got me talking about my family, but. It's just an interesting, interesting insight to have, bro. Yeah. Niggas probably would never thought that about you. I know. I know. Nigga, the VCR? I did. I did. The one that rewind and fast forward real fast. You know how you had to let the, let the thing down, and then that bitch had some buttons right here and the buttons right here? One of them. Did you, you have a tape collection? What? Like a VHS collection. Nigga, I was probably one of the first niggas in Mississippi to have some actual bootleg movies sent up from New York. I'm talking about real line bootlegs, nigga. The whole state of Mississippi. Yeah, nigga, I had the whole season of Def Comedy Jam before that they was even selling the season. I'm gonna find some of them old tapes. It'd be like, that shit would be like six hours of Def Comedy Jam, and then all the movies, juice and all, strapped and all that shit. Juicing yeah. your top five? I don't know. I don't know. It's hard for me to pick because, you know, black movies have a special. I got I done seen there one of them down there. I don't got no top five for nothing. You, re you really high. You don't know it. No, bro. I so see like, how deep you think. Your eyes low. So how, like, they just gave you the VCR in your room. Like, they you didn't have to they ask. Were, uh, it wasn't the family VCR. This was separate. We had a whole setup in the living room, and then I had the other TV. So, like, y'all had VCR in each room? Nah, right, we gotta keep in mind it's the 80s. It wasn't two TVs in the whole house. It's the family TV in the living room. Mm -hmm. It's the flow model, right? VCR in them. Then my room, flow model, VCR. The real good movies everybody want to see. <laughs> you know, living like that. Dang. <laughs> With cable now. Well, you didn't have to leave out your damn room. I really, I rarely did. And when I did, it was only for snacks. This is back when snacks was good for you. Like I grew up on nutrition. So this snacks. in the 80s? Early 80s. So, nigga, you had a bachelor pad in the early 80s. <laughs> I was, this all happened in the projects, nigga. 
Nigga, it's niggas when living like that in the suburbs. I know. That's why I can't relate to a lot of these niggas. I ain't just saying, but like it's it, it sound good what you telling me, but if you would have rapped that shit, bro, it ain't. I, it just but I'm just saying, having a flow model TV and a VCR, nigga rapping like that in I'm the eighties. I'm talking about this back when they, you know people was working every day and couldn't have that type of shit. True story, man. But this ain't even about me. You know what I ain't even said yet, man. Welcome back to the '85 South Show. He was talking good shit right there. You didn't know? Niggas was quiet. They was all interested in my life. I didn't even know we had started. I thought we were Nigga, we were just really talking <laughs> shit. I thought we were just talking shit till Mario showed up, but I guess this nigga got caught up doing something better. Jay Wynn, you made this beat earlier this morning, Dean. You lying. When he heard you talking about the VCR? He lying, bro. Man, how you do it? What you press? Be in line. See? He making it right now? Stop making that cute ass shit, bro. Put a stupid ass sound in there so I know it's real. I'm talking about a dumb ass sound. Some shit you would never use in a, in a beat. He always want to make this good shit. They be like, man, you need to do something with that. Nah, nigga, make me start over. Make me some dumb ass shit, bro. I'm talking about some motherfucking roosters and some chickens and cowbells and some, some straight ignorant ass shit. And I want the tempo to be off by half a pitch. So like even when the shit on beat is slightly off beat, like there's no beat to be on basically. See, that's still kind of normal. That's still, that's too normal. You scared. You scared, you see how that nigga scared to be creative, man? That ain't the same J.O.N. with nah, the Nah, bro. J.O.N. with the dreads, the nigga man, would. he would have been cooked that shit up, man. <laughs> Telling you, bro. Bro, throw me some of the chips, man. It's chip time in this bed. Any Doritos left? Y'all niggas gonna get enough of coming to the trap eating up all the Doritos. Bro, what kind of chips you eat? No, I'm straight. I told y'all. That's why I'm losing so much weight. I don't eat after nothing. Nigga, what the fuck you mean losing so much weight? You been the same size this whole time. Low, since the last episode, I done dropped 15. You a lie. You, I thought you was about to audition for the Benny Siegel movie. <laughs> nah, them folks say I had lost too much weight. They couldn't give me the shit. They want, I ain't gonna tell you cause. What? Them niggas thought, them niggas were asking did I want to do the Mike Tyson movie. I was like, man, let Jamie Foxx do that shit. Oh. Cause I just knew, I knew the tour finna start back up. I'm like, well, I'm going on the road 85 South. Fuck that Jamie When did it start back up? When you tell me. <laughs> I just like to, I, I like to be ready. I ain't trying to, what if I'm shooting a movie and y'all start the tour and I'm like, I just don't want to leave niggas to the that goddamn movie. Nah, fuck that. I ain't like the contract they were coming at me with. What are you talking about? I, I can't tell niggas what's gonna happen in the movie and all that shit, that ain't me. <laughs> <laughs> You type of nigga, tell a nigga what happened. Shit, like, if you ask me, like, who all in it? I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I just feel like they were trying to control my life and shit with the contract. Hey, man. You almost there. <laughs> you getting there. video game shit, that's what he put in there. I like that. You gonna rap on the shit, Lo? Mm. Not if it's too regular. He don't make that shit funky no more, though. He be scared, man. You know, he um, he was crossing the street and a car slammed on the brakes, shook his confidence. I'm trying to help him build it back. <laughs> Boo Boo's oh. on us up a little bit. You ain't tell me that, Joey. Okay, man. He don't like to talk about it. I know what he was afraid of, though. He, 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 he making some retarded shit. <laughs> he give you, you got, what you ask for. You gotta be able to request this every now and then. This will keep him on his toes. And you know what's fucked up? Is the nigga only got eight toes. I don't know. He, I don't know. So 
some weird shit going I on. I just know that his, the front of his shoes be loose. So I figure he ain't have all his toes. Jay Wayne can hoop too, though. You think? Where y'all be doing all this hooping at? Who's on tour? I feel like you be you can hoop too, but you can't do no jump shots. You just shoot flat footed. <laughs> nah, I thought I was straight to like them niggas more in shape than me. Like them niggas running. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This before I lost all the weight. Before <laughs> I lost all the weight, them niggas was in better shape. But them niggas running full court. Nigga, all Chad, the way. Yeah, Chad, talking about like, man, go play D man. Get the fuck out my face. <laughs> I tell jokes, I ain't no motherfucking athlete. If the nigga shoot, he shoot. Man, Joe got down. Whack, whack, whack. He was like, hey, fellas, pull it in. You know what I learned about basketball win. late on in life? What? I ain't never really loved it like that. Oh, yeah. Then when I got on the court, then I ain't a tall nigga. And I looked up at how tall the rim was. I, and I just thought they were lying. I was like, ain't nobody playing on the high rim, man. <laughs> That can't be regulation. Bro, I just knew I was going to grow up and be able to dunk one day. No, what? Donuts, man? No, basketball, man. I... So, Los, when you were 10, 11, you just felt like you weren't going to be tall? Every nigga had a dream. <laughs> I knew then. You knew at 10 you weren't going to be tall. Mm-hmm. I went to school one day. The girl already had her grown woman tail. All right. What, how old were y'all though? Yeah, I'm 10, oh, 11. That, is, that can shake your confidence. Mm-hmm. I had NBA, I mean, I had the NBA Live on Nintendo 64. I was making my, I was creating my player. I was making me 6'3". I just knew I was going to be you 6 You know why they started putting them on them games? For niggas like us who were never going. I always had a competitive mind state, though. I always went to a sorry team and made them better. Like who? Like uh, the Grizzlies or some shit? Yeah, at the time, I would never go to Houston, because at the time when I when started playing, they had Charles Barkley on there, Clyde Dressler. They had a good-ass team. I wouldn't play with Chicago. Cat, this shit ain't loud in your ear, is it? I'm high, bro. These motherfuckers is delicious. Turn me down for a minute, then. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I ain't got high on you, bro. I've been in here before you got here. Don't be looking at my shit like that, bro. It's a box. You want some? I don't eat after nine, dog. What you ate before nine? <laughs> if you must know, I had a grilled chicken with some light sprinkled salt on some spinach. Hmm? Light sprinkled salt with lemon on some spinach. On the bread, on the chicken sandwich? No, it wasn't a chicken sandwich. It was just the grilled chicken. Mm. So I'm staying away from bread, fried foods, soda, and alcohol. Mm-hmm. You drink alcohol? Not during this journey. I ain't never seen you drink none. It had started when, you know, did a couple of SBA loans. I started living like a, a boss. Nigga, I'm eating lobster tail for breakfast. Lobster tail and grits. They got you an SBA loan? Gave me. <laughs> they don't know who the fuck you talking to, lobster. Man, what the fuck you be doing in the daytime when you get SBA loans and shit? shit. We got a whole company, man. We applied, they was like, y'all straight? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even say that's the 1200. For real? Well, I'm glad I was just temp really over here. That shit would have fucked me up. <laughs> Man, low. When the shit went down, bro. They little pandemic shit. So I ignorant this shit again. Man, I had them fucking That kick drum smart. might go. You saw that kick drum went. The kick might go. I had already multiplied my money by the dates. Oh, you was down these show dates? If you want me to be real with you. Mm, I do. Yeah. 
I ain't saying you you obligated to give me something on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> Nigga, if the SBA folk told y'all y'all straight, shit, what can I think? <laughs> Why the fuck I'm scamming? Mm -hmm. When I could come to the home team. Boy, you don't appreciate nothing. <laughs> I'm the one who told him to give you that part. You did real low. They ain't believing in you at first. I was like, look, look, nigga, I always want some credit. Bro, but guilty motherfuckers speak, you see that? Yeah, cause every time I talk. Cause I ain't say nobody name, yeah, you see that, bro. Every time I talk to either one of them, they put it on the other nigga. <laughs> when I talked to Chad, he was like, yeah, I had to let Cat and Joe know, man, you got talent. Talk to Cat, yeah, man. Chad don't be seeing what you bring to the table for the guy. <laughs> nigga Joe be like, stay at it. <laughs> we got you. Man, it's fucked up. Don't worry about what they're saying. I got but you. Chad? I do, this is what Joe told me first. I do the editing. I got you. Look, Chad called me and was like, man, what you think about now? I was like, what the fuck? Where this going? <laughs> Man, he cool, but man, I think we can get Tracy Morgan to do it. I was like, what? <laughs> Bruh, this one I realized none of them fuck with me when Ryan started calling me. I'm mm. like, what the fuck? <laughs> he was like, yeah, so they're gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you what I mean. I'm like, man, hey, I'm just gonna call Chad. I'm like, Chad, man, who the fuck is this Ryan guy? Like, yeah, that's gonna be your POC. I said, who the fuck is a POC? That was the point of contact. So now I gotta call Ryan when I do this and do that. I was like, man, these niggas ain't fucking with me no more, for real. Bro. I felt like these niggas, that's why I made sure I was on time, made sure I ain't say nothing rude to nobody. I'm like, these niggas wait for me to make a mistake. Bro, I came to here last week. I did about three episodes. Chad ain't come to none of them. I'm like, what the fuck going on? And that kid was looking, I'm like, something missing. Where the fuck Joe at? They were gone. I don't know where the fuck they was at, but they wasn't gone together. Damn. I ain't seen them niggas together in about three years. Lowe's, are they trying to replace you? Yeah. 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 I heard they've been working with Country Wayne on the low. <laughs> Everybody ain't lying, bro. Yeah. That fucked up, though, low. That's why he keep calling me. Hey, we, we rebranding. We rebranding. Same shit wild now, dear. <laughs> Next thing I know, you're going to have, hey, man, we, we kind of going in another direction. What would you say if them niggas came to you like that? I want to fight. Yeah, see me. Everybody. Everybody. Every, I'm, I'm going to scrap everybody. But let I'm me starting with the nigga in the van. Who you think the ring leader of all this shit? Joe? You see how he been, he just talk like, he just talk to me like I ain't shit. I know you seen it. Mm -hmm. So you think Joe went to Chad first? Mm -mm. Who he went to first? He got Chad scared. He grabbed Chad by a collar. Mm -hmm. He messed his shirt up. He ain't choking. He just messed his shirt up. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, <mother. laughs> Damn. And you know Joe a little taller, so he pulled him up a little bit. Scared the shit out of Chad. Mm hmm. That fucked up. Like, cause I'm picturing, I can see that shit happen. Right. That's why I'm through fucking with him, cause I don't know how much of this shit he'll pack up if he get mad. He the only one with enough room to take to a take lot of all shit. The shit yeah. Joe leave all, he gonna take it, that little screen, and his laptop, he, he out of there. He got a little car. He, this nigga can probably he take. He can take the sandbag, right. the teeth, but he can fit shit, this, this probably bag. his shit. Yeah. He probably worked for he the probably Falcons put the, He could something. put the couch in that motherfucker and all. Mm -mm. Jamaican dude gonna run out the back. Brethren, brethren. <laughs> Can't take the couch. He don't play by the couch. Oh, okay. <laughs> Young Drew wiped the booger on it. 
Over there. On the couch? Over there. Oh, you wasn't here. He ain't know. <laughs> oh, look at Joe. Now he want to talk. I asked him if he seen the footage. He looked at me like, what footage? <laughs> I'm like, never mind. So clearly, if he ain't seen it, guess what? He ain't been working on it. <laughs> so that might come out. Like, it might not. What, what you think? It, what you think? Getting the Joe, like you think it's the? It's personal. Oh, okay. Sometimes I know I done recorded about 20 episodes. I ain't never gonna see. Sometimes he be sitting there editing and be like, nah, this nigga too good. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. It, okay, tell me this. Do you think he insecure? He feel like you gonna get to a level it's where personal. you be like, nah, his I life, don't need Joe. He wanna control my career. He's like, he only can do what I put him out to do. So if I wanna put out booty hole episode, that's what the fuck I do. Ain't nobody came to see you, Otis. I got the final cut. Look on my motherfucking screen. Final Cut Pro. You don't even know how to open the fucking app. So he don't give you back to back great episodes. He don't hit me back. He don't hit me and let me know what. He be like, Lose, what you think? And he don't give a fuck about my creative or nothing. Then Chad do. Chad will call me and be like, Lose, what you think? Be too late though. <laughs> it's, it's just a smoke screen. Yeah. It's a smoke screen. Because right. Chad was to go back and right, tell Joe. Right, because Chad be trying. He, know, he know it's done. Yeah. They've been talking about the shit all day. Yeah, I just talked to Lowe's. I called Joe Chad like one day. I'm like, bro, where you at? Oh, I'm at the office. Nigga, we got an office. Where our office at? I hit you right back. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know. Brother, I called in one day. Everybody was out of town. I'm like, bro, where y'all at? Oh, we over here handling some 85 South Show business. What, what about me? <laughs> oh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna catch you up. Catch me up! So, so, so Lowe's, you started as an owner and then downgraded to an employee? They like to call me a partner. Oh, shit. Partner. Well, so I done seen a lot of shit happen. Yeah, I ain't never seen this shit type of shit going on. Now, you think I approve this? I ain't want to speak on this shit. I ain't you ever, you ever, you ever seen me in a tie that nigga? That's that seemed Joeish. That's that Chad. Seemed Joe. Then he got a little peach at the top. That seemed Joeish. What kind of what we marketing to? They trying to bring the money in, Los. <laughs> Bruh, when you gonna ever see fly in this? Now Chico got some joys that match this bitch perfectly. Chico will swag that motherfucker. Man, it won't even look tied out no more. It might not even wear it as a shirt. He might make the headband out this bitch. This is the shit to be beautiful. You... So this is a part of the rebranding thing? That's the shit Chad came up with. Now he feel guilty. I'll be Now he want now he want us to fix the shit. Bro, what y'all think? Nick, nope. <laughs> Have niggas hit you up about to tie that shirt? Niggas act like they ain't seen that. <laughs> hey man, when y'all get some more of the motherfuckers the hoodies? <laughs> you seen you seen the tie that shit? Yeah. But them, I need a 3X in that hoodie, man. <laughs> man. Nigga I just it. know this sofa gonna change color soon. This nigga tried to he talking about, you know, Delta, they selling some seats. We should just get some apple pie. Oh, you know. Trying to buy some old Delta seats. What cat be saying about all this? Cat and I started back drinking. <laughs> <laughs> when he not over there in the booth recording audio, that nigga drank. drank. <laughs> old man whiskey too. <laughs> Straight out the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> Do he hide and you it know, in his I, know, I know he <laughs> drinking hard. Cause he don't even drink our glass, but all the bars will be plastic. Oh yeah. <laughs> know that shit cheap. That old seven dollar ass shit you buy at the pharmacy. Oh. That heaven to heal. It's seven dollars a pain and shit. Three strikes and shit. Like, but what kind of drunk is he? Like he a quiet, reserved drunk or he aggressive. He oh shit. <laughs> They start off talking low next day, you know, you mind, thank you, man. Thank you, <laughs> <laughs> thank you man. Yeah. One of them old drunk, man. Oh, I call them old $10 ad drunk. 
So him and Joe don't, or him and Joe and him and Chad wouldn't get into it. I ain't never seen Cat and Joe side by side. <laughs> Cause you know, they used to work together. Yeah. And then Cat still work up there, so he cool with them oh, folks. Okay. So Joe feels some type of way like, oh, that fuck nigga ain't gonna quit. Like that's what he wanted to say. <laughs> Do Joe ever wonder why they got fired and Cat did? It ain't that they got fired. The thing is, is they thought they was gonna get fired, so they quit coming. And then they got one, fired. Then once it, once you're a no call, no show, ain't nothing you can do. All right, look. One of the most important things that you have to have as a man is to smell good because she gonna smell you before she see you, and usually that could be a good thing or it's gonna be a horrible thing. And look, you've been walking around smelling like your father for the past ten years. It's time for you to get a scent that belongs to you. Something that's for you, by you, and it specifically caters to your body. And that's why we rocking with Hawthorne. That's right, Hawthorne. This company has a two minute quiz that you have to take. Only two minutes. It's almost as short as like a porn ad. You know what I'm saying? You skip right through it. Take the survey, and then they will send you your own personalized bottles of cola. Oh, good. I was about to say a cocaine. One of the most important things that you can have as a man is cologne. Your smell, it's the most important thing. The woman is gonna smell you before she sees you. And unfortunately, a lot of us have been passed down fragrances that do not match our lifestyle. You're too old to be wearing Brute and Polo Blue and anything that your uncle was wearing when he met your auntie. So there's a solution. And the solution is Hawthorne. That's right, Hawthorne. You wonder, what's Hawthorne? Well, Hawthorne is a company that realized how important the smell good is to a man. So what they've done is created a two-minute quiz that you go on that website and take. You take this two-minute quiz, and from only a two-minute quiz, you get your own personalized bottle of cologne. That's right. And it tells you who it was made by and who it was made for. That's something that's specifically for you. So you got to go to Hawthorne. They got body wash, all types of good stuff. I use it sometimes. They got hair stuff that you use on your head. It ain't help it grow, but it ain't make it fall out, so it still work. Make sure that you go to Hawthorne and get you something for you so you can smell good because that's the most important thing. Watch how your everything game go up when your smell good game go up. And because we love you so much at the 85 South Show, we have partnered with Hawthorne to get you 10% off your first purchase. All you have to do is go to Hawthorne, with an E, dot co, not com, that's dot co, with no M, dot co, and put in 85% is it, what is it, 85? 85 South. Oh, and put in 85 South and get 10% off your personalized cologne and body wash and all that other good stuff. So if you're tired of being a funky motherfucker, then get fresh with Hawthorne. You stinking ass, bitch. You heard it. Nice. Yeah. They, they got scared and panicked. They listened to a motherfucker who wasn't a boss. Well, we had to let y'all go. And then when dude got there, he was like, what the fuck they at? And then they could have kept working long they wanted to. You know how that nigga will fire you and be like, you fired. But then, he, he, really he like as long as you keep coming, you, you keep good. Coming, like if you take it as you fire, you fire. But I wouldn't have kept I would have kept coming. But Joe kept coming too much and they were like, look, don't come no more. They locked him out. That nigga had to call the sheriff. <laughs> so he had to be escorted? That, he still ain't got all his shit. They got his old laptop with his his ex news and everything on. It. That ain't even his work computer. They got they got his other personal computer up there. <laughs> it's too real. Now you want to cut it? <laughs> when have you ever known this nigga to cut anything? Bruh, Cause if anything, that motherfucking commercial should have been cut. <laughs> But you <laughs> Yeah, when you, when, you, when you did the mental health commercial and the motherfucker put me on that, you want to cut that, cut that. <laughs> if the nigga stole the laptop, his ass ain't here now recording. Hey, no. Nah. That's fucked up how they did Joe laptop, though, man. No, nah, fuck that laptop. Nah, they ain't had to take Joe laptop, man. That nigga called the sheriff and everything. That's how he got put out of his apartment. Because once they wrote his name down and they, they called it in, <laughs> Found out that nigga had 37 parking tickets because he had left his, he had wrecked his car and left it parked in the handicapped spot. So this story just get worse. Man, I know all about these niggas, man. It's, this is 85 South Show exposed. <laughs> Tell you about all these low life ass niggas. Oh, oh, I'm trying to see, was you saving this shit to when they tried to rebrand this shit and you just gonna come out with all the information like? 
I, I got cases but, on all you niggas. Nah, I tried to contact everybody, but it's so hard to get everybody on in one group because they all run shit. Joe be wearing a scarf and glasses like Whitney Houston when he not here. He'll wrap the shit around his head and be like, talk to my people. And he drive off all fast in his little BMW. He be going fast, but don't be going nowhere. It just be loud. Be like, Speed bump brakes. <laughs> It sound kind of like that. So how Chad act? Chad? Man, Chad be acting like, you never remember you know, like on a dead president when a nigga robbed the bank and opened the shirt at him. Mm. <laughs> got his life right with the Lord, turned oh. back vegetarian. So why he saying you got to cut this? Good, man. So this shit bigger than you. You can't even control if they cut it or not. Me. I don't got no say so in the edit. They think shit funny. See, sometimes they'll upload the shit 6 o'clock in the morning. Bro. Then when they don't upload, you be seeing how my Twitter on Friday. Bitch, where is the show? Hey, man, fuck you. Man, man y'all niggas trip. I don't know what to tell them. I called Joe four times. Blue you don't bubbles. Pick up. This is goddamn long. I called Cat. Cat, what's up, man? Talk to Joe. Yeah, I just got off the phone with him. <laughs> Call Ryan. Yo, Lowe's, I'm gonna hit you right back. I'm on the phone with Joe. <laughs> then the people on Twitter, I'll be so fed up. They'll be like, hey, man, what the fuck? Where's what's the show? And I'll be like, Joe. Joe. And I'll be trying to find his Twitter, and that shit won't even come up. <laughs> and they got you blocked? I know he got a Twitter. I seen a picture of him on vacation. I just know this episode blocked. never getting aired, man. Nigga got me blocked, bro. This just gonna be for Joe personal, <laughs> personal viewing. They, they don't even know how many niggas they got mad at me right now. Cause they sat right here and recorded. Great episode. <laughs> we did about 20 episodes when we first started recording. I'm talking about this nigga don't speak to me right now cause he think I'm just, just said fuck him and didn't put the show out. <laughs> he tweet about it every week. <laughs> you la they laughing because they know I'm dead and fuck this. It is like six niggas that's legit mad at me because they episode never came out. Oh. Ain't got shit to do with me. <laughs> this shit big to be on 85 South, man. And Joe fucking niggas' careers up. <laughs> it's niggas. Cause the nigga don't win it all the whole hood. They waiting on me to just tell them, bro, the shit coming out Friday. They got some shit that they trying to do all week leading up to the Friday. <laughs> nigga that had an old photo shoot. <laughs> now clean, now clean they page up. Took all the custom videos yeah. down. <laughs> they just know this they chance. Is it Joe don't give a fuck? Or? It's definitely that. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's definitely that. This nigga got episodes, so I don't even remember when we did this shit. <laughs> I think I brought the shit, but he done hid the shit so well from me. I think that the shit just, just he made it. So, <laughs> so tell me. Bro, when we did a show in Rhode Island, man. <laughs> tell me, low. I don't know how many last shows we did. Did he real? Did he really like? Did that hard drive really fuck up that mobile show, or did he? The nigga told me the other day. Cause you turned that bitch out, and I feel like that's what it was. That nigga told me the other day that he had some audio that was fucked up, and he needed me to record it over on my phone. I was like, nigga, the shit on my phone don't sound like the shit on your computer. It was a setup. <laughs> That's how I know he just be cutting my shit out. Mm. He edit, he don't edit the show, you know what He be editing. What? <laughs> <laughs> he only want me to go so far. That's why I brought in Thad. He don't know shit yet. He gonna be, he use, he unbiased. Yeah. He probably sitting over there like, bro, this is shit not knowing that he ain't never gonna see this shit right. <laughs> like the, he getting the angle right and all for nothing nigga this is my one yeah that camera ain't even that camera ain't even on do you see joe bad camera 
What are you doing? He looking at the shit he gonna edit. That nigga is looking at another computer. <laughs> Did you just hear Chad yawn? This shit is boring to him. <laughs> he can't even be in the studio when we record the show. That nigga got right up and said, <laughs> I wonder if Joe gonna edit that out. Cause he know the people in the comments gonna be like, bro, who sleep in that bitch? <laughs> Is it me, Los? Mm-mm. It's me. All right. It's me. Because I just don't like that fake shit. I came in, and everybody didn't say what's up. I ain't going to say no names. That's how the new niggas is, man. They don't know you no more. They felt like you had changed because you had a comedy special. To him was actually mad because he was like, I got a whole van full of shit, and he ain't need me to do nothing. I didn't know about the van. Every time I call Chad trying to get advice, he throw me off on another nigga. I used to call that nigga. One, two rings. Yo, what's up, bro? Now? Four, five days. <laughs> Just to hit me back to tell me he need to call me back. But, but Los, if he acting like that, why when I hit you and ask you what I do, you tell me, oh, hit Chad, he good with that. I ain't busy enough. But why you send me to Chad and you know he ain't answering for you? Because the shit that you asking me, he only told me half of it. You got to ask him about the other half. You see how he try to make himself, like, expendable so we can't get rid of him? He only telling half of the shit. So I got to find out the other half and right. come and give you that shit. Man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Them niggas, them niggas sneaky. They and what they don't know is a cat record everything. He got foot. He got enough footage to bury all of us. <laughs> TMZ don't need but a nine second loop. He be calling me, threatening me. He be sounding like his work, but he be threats. Yeah, Los, I'm separating your files now. I think I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> Why you think DC them don't come that much? They be like, Los, I'm telling you, there's something going on. But you, like, you trying to look past the shit, but. Mm-hmm. You mean you mean you think everybody busier than me, or did I choose to not be busy? That makes sense. And it put the chip in me, cause every time I I, I could have easily been out in the world doing show. You seen how many people I got a demand? I'm somebody, but I'm showing I'm trying to show them a better way, and they like yeah, just keep him talking. <laughs> That goddamn Joe. That's why I keep making J-O-N play music so they don't get no clean audio of me singing <laughs> and shit. You on to something. If you think this is for advertising and my protection. Somebody said, Los, post a green tie-dye shirt if you need help. Like, what, what they got on you? I don't know. But I you don't, don't want to risk it. I don't, don't want to risk it. too much Because well, we did too many live shows, too much footage of me rolling large amounts of marijuana. Oh, man. I don't know what audio they could sync up with that. And this nigga Joe so far with that editing. Look how he did my commercial. He could, he could outtake the weed and put pounds of hair on The nigga had edited. <laughs> he edited one video. It, my car was when I first got it. The next time he cut to the bitch, I had rims. Then he gonna cut back to the. I was like, bruh, you think I ain't catch that? So I'm asking you, who run the 85 South Show page? Because they do a lot of not 85 South Show type shit. Could be Chico, could be DC. Huh? Could be J-O-N. I don't know who it is. Be, I don't know. They be on a lot of porn shit. Like, <laughs> like in a bunch of hoes. Yeah, I'm like, man, what the fuck? Nah, I'm gonna tell you what. I I'm like, why is I'm the 85 tell you who South running? Show liking the same shit I'm like? I'm gonna tell you who it is. You even got too much to lose. I'm gonna tell you who it is. I, I don't know, I don't know the exact, I don't know the exact person. All I know is they petty. Whoever run that page will like your old hoe pictures right after they like your new hoe pictures. So now these hoes is 
mad. Because now it's on their sport page. Right. They need to slow down with right. that shit. I wasn't even mad at first, because first it started off with just the bad bitches. Then it turned into little women, the strippers, <laughs> and fitness models, and look, all types of weirdo shit. I seen one with Cat had like the bitch picture, and she had a hundred face tattoos, and she was picking up some dumbbells with her puss out. Like, we don't, we don't like that, Cat. We don't. So Cat liked it from his personal page? Mm-mm. From the 85 South? He got his personal page linked to it. Oh, my God. They got a group chat with the 85 South Show page. I tried to look at the message. It said, you are not allowed to. Oh, it's private. Wow. It done changed the password on you? It's just certain shit I can't see. All I see is J-O-N leaving a bunch of laughing faces. <laughs> Yeah, Los, this shit ain't gonna never make it. Niggas done changed, man. I done wasted my night. That nigga never put this shit out. It ain't coming out. <laughs> shit, you know, a nigga like to be around family, kick shit. Hey, man, I think if you promote the comedy special that you got coming out, he'll at least cut that clip out. He won't, but new dude might. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if this ever get out, it ain't gonna be coming yeah. out. Fuck with me. Like, I can't even promote it seriously. Give it a shot. It might be worth it. Take a deep breath. Sit up. Show them you're serious. Look at Joe. How you directing in the bathroom? Look, he making it look like he rolling the blunt, huh? That is cocaine. Look, look at that. Just high. Fucking junkie. Like the nigga I told that, you see how niggas don't give a fuck about what I said? What I tell that nigga when he was over there making the beat? Make the shit strange. This normal. He done went back to the, he done like, man, Lowe's trip. I don't run shit around here. But no, I seen Joe get that nigga a, a motion. It was kind of like, it was Cat. Cat the ring leader. All sounds go through Cat. No, Joe did this. <clears throat> the next thing I know, that motherfucker started. That shit on beat like a motherfucker, ain't it? That is not what I would ask for. Do you think Joe was grabbing him by his dreads or some shit? You know what? I really heard Joe's really aggressive when we're not around. <laughs> and he kind of got all them scared of him because he throw temper tantrums. And he ain't really like physically violent. He just slammed the door all the time. They be like, huh? like what the fuck y'all scared of Joe for? Now, I think what it is, that nigga Joe, he love his art and craft so much, he take it out on these And you know what else? He think he French, too. So he think yelling and screaming and throwing lattes around is really doing something. He love to try to spill some coffee and yell at something. That's why he be by himself all the time. Man, now that you saying all this, this nigga might not even be good in basketball. Those niggas probably will let not, him do you know that what? shit. He not. I peeped this game. All the nigga can do is lay up real good. He can finger roll good as fuck. Hey, man, anybody really, you see how he get defensive? Anybody <laughs> ask you shit? Anybody really ask you shit? Now he can talk to you. Yeah. But when you text a nigga nine times straight, he don't hear that. Nah. He don't want to talk about, oh, I got a new phone every week. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you keep buying new phones. Do we got something against you? Like, But no, look, I, it got to be two sides. You saw what it was. What you do to him? I, I don't believe the basketball shit. Cause all every time they go play, everybody come back and be like, man, that motherfucking joke. Motherfucking joke. And then, <laughs> then when I saw how mad Steve Harvey got when he brought up Joe basketball, you should have seen the hate of Steve Harvey face. Steve hate this nigga game. Steve was like, <laughs> oh pretty Joe. <laughs> Good ball playing motherfucker. <laughs> like Steve Harvey said that. You know, he usually used discretion and yeah. try to make sure there ain't nobody record. Right. He didn't give a damn. No, nah, and he was calling him shit that didn't nobody ever call Joe. Like, yeah, sweet Joe. When the fuck they start calling him sweet Joe? You ever heard somebody say that? Yeah. And they were talking about Joe? Yeah! Look at Chad. Look, that nigga damn sure called him sweet Joe. Steve Joe. But look, sweet Joe, pretty motherfucker. And then we on the app, he like, yeah, Joe got a little game on. Ain't nobody said shit about no basketball. Yeah, Joe got a little game. <laughs> look, Steve, I don't like that shit. Get, 
Snatch that ball. What do you say? That damn Joseph Newman was working on. But hey, Joe, back in the day, when I was 27, a uh, dog, you the you the guy that gave you the blues. When he was 27. Like niggas is 27 is out there running the court. <laughs> That's how you know an old nigga serious. When, when he name a nigga you ain't never heard of, <laughs> Leroy Wells. <laughs> he said it like that's supposed to stop everything Look, you think. Philip Lewis, six foot seven, 228 pounds, used to jump out the gym. <laughs> But that's really what the beef go back to. <laughs> Joe wants me to give his basketball career more, more respect. I'm like, nigga, you play the ITT Tech. I don't give a <laughs> fuck about these old niggas that you used to hoop on, man. But Steve said Damn. the nigga whole name, bro. Joseph, knew, and that's how he knew him. Oh, yeah. oh, he don't know. He knew Joe, Joe couldn't say shit. He, oh. he, first of all, he hated to be called Joseph. So that was the nerd. He was being petty. Oh. Right. So you put me on game. I ain't right. people. So he was being look, nigga. Don't, if you call him Joseph, that nigga ain't even gonna look up. So he, he joke. I don't know why he chose that alcoholic ass name. <laughs> Joseph sounds way more professional. But that's it. He don't like to be called Joseph, first of all. Mm -hmm. And then Steve knew Joe couldn't say shit because he worked for him. You think he gonna be like, because he you see how he got all rowdy with me, like, well fuck that Los, we can go now. <laughs> He really wanted to say, Steve, it don't matter if you fucking 27 or 67, I bust your ass right now. So couldn't. Joe Slick wanted to fight the it nigga. It was a Wednesday yeah. night. They don't, they don't get paid on Wednesdays. So that's mm. really what it was. Uh, it was. Damn. Wow. Chad the type of nigga who always want to invite you to play a sport that don't nobody want to play. Like rugby? Now y'all niggas want man, what's up? He be, he be doing this shit. Hey man, we got enough people to play some softball. Man, go on. <laughs> Boy, shit, man. Wait a minute. You niggas go? Nah, I ain't no play. Oh, yeah. Baby, that's why I'm But, Los, this shit coming down to you, like, you don't take, they, they, they trying to bond with you, dog. Every time I tell them niggas I don't want to play softball, my episode don't come out. <laughs> You don't even see how they be tricking, manipulating people, do you? You see when I told you promote your goddamn comedy special? They, they was like, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at Chad. He got his hand on his hip. Wow. Low, low, low. <laughs> see, that why, that why I ain't here. Man, fuck it. I did better than I expected on the pre-orders. <laughs> I don't like how you trying to keep the shit a secret. You in with them? I done asked you three fucking Fuck times. Fuck no! I you you made three, me be cool with these I niggas. I asked you three fucking times. I've been fucking with you for the longest. You told me these niggas were cool. I started giving these niggas a chance. Now you ain't fucking with them. What you want me to do? Just cut it off straight Bruh. up? I got to smooth the shit away. I done asked you three fucking times. What's the name of the special? Man, uh, tell jokes or drop fries. Where is it available? Uh, Damn, that made me want some fries, boy. Yeah. So you said it that I like. Ooh. See, and that's what I want niggas to think, like, man, this nigga, man. You coming out with your own fries? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm trying Let's to talk re to a nigga. I'm, I'm rebranding some shit right now with or Ida. <laughs> so like, we doing some shit with or Ida. Like, we in the talks. Like, I'll break the news on the show right now. So it's on. We in some talks right now, like. They feel like they trying to go, they trying to follow this Black Lives Matter movement. Black Fries Matter. <laughs> Nigga, they told you. <laughs> How the fuck you knew? So it's Come on, gonna bro, be this me. one of the yeah. biggest shows. They want to advertise with me. Yeah, so it, Black Fries Matter, y'all make sure y'all support. Or Ida. And we collaborating with Heinz. On oh, some ketchup. With the ketchup. For the Halloween. Yeah. So leave that Del Monte, all that dumb shit alone. Right. Especially hunts. Especially that shit with no salt added. Oh my God. That shit is for the bird. But where is it gonna be available at? Man, right now I'm doing, uh, after talking to, you know, 
I'm doing direct to consumer first. Just to see who fucking with me. <laughs> then later on. Oh, I don't know what's the point oh, about that. That's funny. That. Right. That's fucking funny. That's hilarious. Because I'm trying to go directly to the consumer. Right. <laughs> yeah. That nigga ain't gonna never get this shit to That's what he basically saying. But now, Man, that shit gonna blow up. And when you get the money, don't, don't, I don't want you to get the type of, like, be the nigga that get a bunch of money and then make a nigga have to ask you for it. So when you get it, go on ahead and bring me off the little, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. little change, you know, for looking out when you ain't having it. Shit yeah, like yeah. That. I, I, I'm keeping up with how many episodes you've been on. So. Oh, hey, cause get what? Uh, nigga, that's already in my like credits. Like right. the most consistent guest on 85 South. Show. Yeah, I already been telling you. Man. I, a nigga ain't been and on I here know, more than me. And I know it's worth well, it. Well, niggas you. like me or not. Niggas ain't been when on here more than me. When you first came on this bitch, you had one baby. But then when you got the other baby, I was like, <laughs> nigga, way too much pussy. And, oh, yeah. and it blew up. Like, yeah. I'm on here and I still got my same amount of kids. <laughs> yeah. But and I just been, I've been like, Right, like, say this the line, bro. Sometimes I be like, man, nut all. Nah, nah. You get back. See, not me. Sometimes I just leave him right there. I be like, nah, I touched it. I told that motherfucker. I man. just get caught in that motherfucking moment. I know. I would listen to that Chris Brown young thug that go crazy motherfucker. So, <laughs> hey, man, stop. <laughs> Stop. I don't, I don't, can't think about you getting no pussy. Man. Hey, man, I had my fucking leg up. That shit is weird, man. I had my fucking leg up with my 85 South hat to the Cause back. Cause you built like that. <laughs> I don't wanna have that shit, man. Cause, Cause you already built like Ted, that teddy bear of that movie. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> what fucking teddy bear, Lo? <laughs> no, fuck that, what fucking teddy bear? Ted. <laughs> <laughs> now need motherfucker back on your side. <laughs> oh, let me impress Los. Let me show him I could Google this shit. No, nah, they ain't know I was this far yeah. on it. Yeah, he's still getting fired. <laughs> they didn't... That shit ain't gonna save your job, man. Who stole my candles? Uh, nah, they they just didn't know that I was so up. When I leave tonight, they're gonna be like, lock the door. Bro, he is on to us. <laughs> it's all good. Make sure you get you one of these tight ass shirts for you. Ah, Lo. Let me get a coat, though. Yeah. I ain't trying to be picky and shit, but I'll take it. You coat. get what we give you. <laughs> nah, I definitely. I need you to in this, though. <laughs> like, nah, like, we got them, but we ain't been getting a lot of promo on them, and hey, we got to get them in the hey, hands of some influencers. I need to buy one get one free, them motherfuckers. <laughs> I think we're just going to keep them in-house for staff. You got to shoot them bitches out like that, a basketball yeah, yeah, yeah. game. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't lost. Bro, who the fuck we going to get to wear this shit, man? Man, just ride down downtown, get back, get back. Get back to the community. Man, look at the sleeves, bro. 85. That's a vibe, all right. <laughs> we changing the name. The name so, it just, then the little peach make it so feminine. Get fem that motherfucker away from me. That little peach make it so feminine, like you're supposed to say 85. <laughs> <laughs> who, gonna do the, who gonna do the commercial for it? Big Freedom. <laughs> okay, baby, we gonna do some. <laughs> we about to listen to some music on 85, baby. <laughs> I didn't come to play with you, who? Oh, bounce, bigger than bounce, bigger than bounce, 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 bigger than bounce, 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 bigger than bounce, bounce, bigger than bounce, bigger than bounce, bounce. So, Lo, you could honestly say you never put a, put that shirt on. I don't have one. I don't have one. Jay and Wynn, have you? I'm married. He ain't wear one. That nigga wear pink do rags. He saw that and he was like, I ain't fucking with it. Lost you remember when he left a pink do rag at your house? Bruh, that nigga almost got me put out my shit. <laughs> Bruh, she should have seen how mad she was. What nigga wear a motherfucking pink do rag? 
And then I'm sounding stupid because the nigga told me to call him J-O-N and not John. And I'm like, it's J-O-N. He's like, so, so what bitch named J-O-N? I was like, bitch, I wouldn't say all that. The nigga is different. <laughs> And then that shit stayed at the house for uh, the longest. I kept trying to get it to him, and he wasn't even sweating. He was like, nah, look, this is cool. I got another one. I was like, nigga, you got another one? He got a three-pack of them. Bro, when I finally gave that motherfucker to him, I threw him in his face like, huh, nigga, I'm trying to. You was tired. upset, dude. Man, I'm tired of trying to get this shit to this nigga, man. I'm already mad. That's how it happened, though, man. Look at Chad. Like he got somewhere to be. Oh, he definitely looked. I caught his ass in. He definitely was looking at his Apple Watch. He's trying to yawn again. Come on, sleep, bro. Mm, mm, mm. I'm just gonna keep it real with you, low. That nigga better not hit my line by shit. <laughs> what you need him for? You got your oh, own comedy special. But no, he played man. He played man, so he hit me up. Hey, what's a good play to run against Cover Three? I'm just gonna hang up in his fucking face. Don't ask me shit, dog. Just tell him they do what you've been doing, dog. <laughs> I don't the fucked know. up part is Cat probably mad with me. He ain't recording none of my audio. It just gonna be you. And no telling where they gonna spread that out at. Man, bro, they ain't even fucking with this shit. I ain't even know the shit had got to this point. I called Joe about two weeks ago. I'm like, bro, what's the show? Ain't I put it out when I fucking want to. Hung up. Cause I ain't know like whether you were gonna sh shoot an episode tonight or not. Cause I hit niggas up. They were like, man, Los doing some big shit and hang up. You know it. You doing some black excellence. Yeah. <laughs> they, you see how they tried to get DC mad with me. They done brought his home, bud. He was like, yeah, y'all going to do it. Like, no fuck, we ain't. We'll wait. They tried to start that shit. What happened? Yeah, they had, they had brought DC home, bud. And then they was like, yeah, y'all just do the episode. And then DC was like, no. I was like, bro, I didn't know. Hey, they knew. Tried to set me up. That's over my head. See, it got quiet again. See, I quiet again. Yeah, yeah. Now they ain't really do that. I oh. just, I just didn't know that nigga was here. <laughs> like we didn't know he wasn't here. Hey man, get this motherfucker away from me. <laughs> man, I'm just fucking with you. If anybody in here took anything that's wrong, fuck you. Get the fuck out. Leave. You all fired. That's the thing, though. We did all this shit together. Can't nobody get fired. Man. Shut up, Cat. <laughs> cat, cat a dessert. Yeah, because we're going to get the shit started. This nigga going to move, man. <laughs> that nigga owe us six months restitution, man. That nigga soon as that nigga, money, soon man. as that nigga left, the quality went down. Man. Couldn't hear shit when that nigga left. I'm on watching the show on 100. As soon as I turn the YouTube off, I got to run up out the fucking house with the TV. Blast. So when the cat came back, I was like, nigga, this HD? I can hear this shit so on YouTube. So he don't teach them niggas everything. Hell so no. They could, okay. He won't teach them niggas how to plug up shit. From the outside looking in, who you think fuck with me the most out of them? I hate to tell you. None of them. Not even Jay Wynn. <laughs> he hate when you come. He was like, man, that nigga can't rap. <laughs> I'm literally wasting music on this. <laughs> So that what that what the word on the street is. He wasn't gonna tell you, but I tell you. But but see, look at look at how much J O N don't like this shit. He won't even wear it. He wear the old shit. That's when we ain't even had no money. That's a mock up. <laughs> we never even really made them. Look at the eight. Look at the five on it. That bit glued on. Look, he checking. No, it ain't. That's that's the real. So that's like the retro. That one worth a lot of money on eBay. I don't even have one. I think he stole that from me. I got all of them, bro. I knew you was in on it. No, I, I'm sorry. Nigga. Before you got the red. You, before you told them you, niggas to start paying me, that's how they paid me. You I bet you me? ain't got no real one. I ain't got no red one. You ain't got no red one? Don't nobody got no real one. No, man. Who got a red hoodie? The bitch, Joe. I bet you. Where that bitch, Joe? I ain't seen it. That bitch so cold. Man, I appreciate Bro, you I had, telling a, me I had a red one that was so cold with the 85 South on the back. I don't it was know. red? It was, I only had one. It was in the first batch. Mm. I got an 85 South show hoodie somewhere with 
85 South on the back. I think I put it on there myself, but. Damn. I got some 85 South Show socks. I gotta be like the only one with them, cause I remember I stole them from everybody. <laughs> only thing is them bitches come up too high and they sag it a little bit. They look like stockings if you're a nigga. Do that nigga cat got some? You would never know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying with the socks and the, you know, the shorts. <laughs> like, would you know how high they come up? He may or he may not, I don't know. <laughs> I've never seen his socks before. <laughs> How you knew he had on high top shoes? Because they kept hitting the top of the shirt, the bottom of the shorts. <laughs> they kept getting caught on the bottom. <laughs> he kept stepping on the shorts. Bro, like, <laughs> when you're thigh out. <laughs> hey, man, we got to get the fuck out of here, man. This is oh. man Carlos Miller. We in this bitch with my nigga, Mary. Nav Green. 85 South Show, we got these bitch. I need one more bag of chips. Hell yeah. Oh. Man, hey man, we running low on Doritos. <laughs> he just told the truth. Ain't none of these niggas gonna call me all this week. These bitches still right here. Tape 14, this is Nav Green. I got my comedy special coming out. Tell jokes or drop fries. I appreciate your countless support. This is my first comedy special, man. It mean a lot to me if y'all just watch it. It's on, man, just for you watching it right now, it's $9.99. Anybody else is $9.99 as well. <laughs> y'all keep on supporting. We trying to make this number one. Right now we at 398. <laughs> We got a long way to go, but it's possible with your support. Swipe up, link in bio right now. Tell jokes or drop fries. Bitch. Oh, yeah. Because it was kind of po political, wasn't it? Yep. <laughs> I'm Nav Green, and I approve this message. <laughs> so he edited that just like that, dude. <laughs>